In a surprising move that could shake up the 2024 presidential race, the International Brotherhood of Teamsters has announced that it will not endorse either Kamala Harris or Donald Trump. This decision comes as a shock to many political analysts and union members alike. The Teamsters, known for their significant influence in Labour politics, have historically played a crucial role in presidential elections. Their decision to withhold an endorsement marks a significant departure from tradition. This is the first time the influential Labour union has withheld an endorsement since 1996, a year that also saw significant political upheaval. The implications of this move are yet to be fully understood, but it undoubtedly adds a new layer of complexity to the upcoming election. The Teamsters, with over 1.3 million members across the United States and Canada, are a powerful force in Labour politics. Their decisions can sway elections and shape policies. They recently stated that neither candidate made substantial commitments on their top issues, such as fair wages, health care and job security. Polls among union members revealed no definitive support for either candidate, highlighting a deep divide within the union. Despite recent surveys showing a strong preference for Trump among rank-and-file members, the leadership remains cautious, emphasising the need for concrete promises and actions from any candidate seeking their endorsement. Kamala Harris's campaign had hoped for the Teamsters' endorsement to bolster her appeal among working-class voters in crucial battleground states like Pennsylvania, Michigan and Wisconsin. However, Harris's campaign spokesperson emphasized that many Teamsters locals are backing her, highlighting her history of supporting organized labor. Teamsters President Sean O'Brien has been making headlines for his outreach to Republicans. His efforts have included numerous public appearances and speeches aimed at bridging the gap between labor unions and the Republican Party. Despite addressing the Republican National Convention and meeting with Trump, he has not secured an official endorsement from the union. His attempts to gain support from high-profile Republican figures have been met with mixed reactions. O'Brien has also faced criticism from within the union for his right-wing engagements. Many union members feel that his approach could undermine the union's traditional alliances and values, leading to internal conflicts and debates about the future direction of the Teamsters. On the other hand, President Joe Biden's administration has been praised for supporting union issues, including bolstering the Teamsters pension fund and walking a picket line with striking workers. Yet, internal union dynamics and strategic decisions have led to this unexpected outcome. In a recent poll, Teamsters members showed significant support for Trump, but the union's decision reflects a broader division and lack of unified support among its members. With less than 50 days until the election, the absence of a Teamsters endorsement could impact both campaign strategies as they vie for the support of key working class voters. Stay tuned as this story develops and the race continues to heat up. For more updates on the 2024 election and other breaking news, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell. Thanks for watching.